For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says find the coordinate direction angles of the given force. So they give us the magnitude of F, which is 75 pounds. Now we know that this force has an X component, a Y component, and a C component. The C component is very easy to find. It's this force right here, I mean this vector right here. And it's given by the magnitude of F sine of 30. And it's equal to 37.5. Now we're going to find this vector form right here which is the projection of f along the x and y plane and is easily given by f cosine of 30 and this comes out to be 64.95 and sorry this is actually negative because it's going down on the c-axis now that we have this projection we can find the x component this component is given by the projection times the sine of 45. And the y is given by the projection times the cosine of 45. But they're both the same because sine of 45 and cosine of 45 are the exact same thing. And they come out to be 45.93, 45.93, both positive. So the Cartesian vector form of F is 45.93i plus 45.93j minus 37.5k. Now that you have the Cartesian vector form and the magnitude, finding the angles is very easy. Three angles. This is the angle that it forms with the x, this is the angle that it forms with the y, and this is the angle that it forms with the c. And they're given by the cosine inverse of the x component over the magnitude. Theta is given by the cosine inverse of the y component over the magnitude. And the cosine inverse of the c component over the magnitude. So this is the X component, this is the Y component, and this is the C component, and this is the magnitude. So with these four values, you apply them into these three formulas, and you're going to get that the angles are 52.2 degrees, 52.2 degrees, and 120 degrees. Don't forget the negative sign when you plug in the C value. So this is the final answer for the direction angles. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.